I do want to say this, though. Um, you know, to those out there who make it beats and stuff, the stuff I was saying yesterday, this is what I was saying about. You ain't got that many archive space. That means you probably running your computer till you crash if normal folks would. Me, I haven't done no shit like that since high school. I'm saying that to say this. If you make beats or you make music or you doing anything significant on a computer that got anything to do with your dream, that's money, dog. So why sit there and waste it by waiting for your computer to crash just to lose it? If you lose 10,000 songs or 10,000 beats, y'all, but you was a slap asshole about selling them for $60 to $600. What's the difference? Oh, that's the difference is you got a paper asshole, you got your egotistical, uh, narcissistic motherfucker, that's it. Because any fool would tell you that if you got 10,000 beats or anything close or whatever, however many beats you got, before you let it crash and just be in your emotion like a girl that bleed between the legs, I'm talking about males is. Yeah, well, I forgot female may be between, I don't, it don't matter, whatever. You get the gist. But what I'm trying to say is get out of your emotion, young blood, and look at money from a different angle. I'm gonna be real with you, right? We is good, cause I don't give a fuck about that $60 and that $600. I wipe my ass for that shit. That ain't no money, period. It definitely ain't no money in the crowd. I just told y'all a story the other day about a motherfucker who would give away $320,000, like $100. So why the fuck would I worry about $60 or $600? That's embarrassing. We know you're a business man with your beats, but by now you should have been had multiple business and got people employed, beat man. Not just to beat people, I'm just saying. I see y'all and y'all emotions out there. And really, honestly, I shouldn't even be, I shouldn't even put my lyrics on y'all shit, period. That's how good I know I am. See, I knew I was good way before I even thought about even trying to get a contract, and I ain't never tried to get one. I can write in bars. Actually, it kind of took the fun out for me. Because once I start writing in bars, I can go down. If I did 20 songs a day, if I start writing in bars, I'm going to do 40. And it's gonna be outstanding, cause I know how to jump. And the shit gonna be funny, it's gonna be shit nobody ever heard before. But I wouldn't do that unless I moved up in ranking financially. And I can enjoy my space like that. So don't get it twisted. If I'm, if I'm recording on your beats and you're getting in your emotions about it, I hope y'all ain't, because most motherfuckers I know that make beats or make music genuinely in this dream, they normally tough. You know what I'm saying? Inside out. Cause they know how to live their dream. Rather that rather not they got they got their dreams or not, you know. If you get what I'm saying. So that's really all I'm saying. It's all fun here, y'all. Ain't no money rotating. Not like the future and I'm part of them too, whether I'm sitting at the table with them or not, because I don't just study America. Y'all over here killing each other to get the next dollar. Everybody done, all the other countries done, done adapted to social media or adapted to social media in a financial standpoint to the point where they all ain't, you don't hear other countries talking about money, do you? See, it's bad everywhere. Last time I checked, coronavirus hit everywhere. Why the other countries ain't talking about money? There you go. Now do me a favor. We're killing everybody, killing your people. We're fucking player hating. We're trying to find the next person to bang on to get a dollar and wake up the people like, cause it's more than just me out here telling people what to do. You bitch niggas just don't want to read. Then I tell y'all I was illiterate. Then I tell you motherfuckers I come from the slum. Then I tell you motherfuckers I ain't have no parents. If I can pick up a book and read it, then I tell you I hate books. What's wrong with you niggas out there? Somebody throw you some pussy in your face and throw you some money in your face, you go bonkers. Well, I guess mama and daddy wasted all that money in your bitch ass. 
That should have been your first test. See, back in the day, when a man conquered these right here, they kept women around him. Now the women stay around the bombs, and they use the man that's doing everything and kill that nigga, throw him in the trash can. And then, not even a fucking decade, rather a year later, everybody broke. Robbing each other now, scumbags. Now, you make a choice out there. You want to be like the scumbags, or you get over here on the winning team, nigga. Because while I'm trying to take my black people, hey, they ain't never been before, and they ain't going to go without me. Even the twin can't move without me, because she don't know that she too busy doing whatever the fuck ever. Probably making a movie or something. Who knows Hollywood shit? I ain't on that shit. Been off of it a long time ago.